Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we are going over the fight sticks of the month for October. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, I saw a ton of amazing fight sticks this month and it was very difficult to narrow it down to my top five. So for this month, I do have my top five and I also have a couple of honorable mentions. First up, we have this amazing Mayflash F500. Now the Mayflash F500 isn't necessarily the best stick on the market with stock components, but it's easily modifiable. You can swap out parts and you can definitely change up the artwork to make it look amazing. So with this stick, they've done a full Sanwa swap and did an incredible job with the artwork. If you're a music fan or if you've ever seen a Marshall amplifier, hopefully you can see some resemblance in the stick here. They've done an amazing job too with the button coordination to really make this stick stand out and really make it look like it should be a Marshall branded stick. It's an amazing job. For the second fight stick of the month, if you are a JoJo fan, then you should recognize this stick right away. I love what they did here. This is a marvelous custom shell with some great artwork and I'm assuming they're Sanwa buttons. The green buttons and ball top really make a lot of sense here. They blend in really nicely with the text. The artwork is also a good choice. When you're using this stick and have your hands on the buttons and the joystick, you can actually fully see pretty much all of the artwork. This is a very tastefully done stick and also props to that really cool keyboard. Next up, we have a Berserk hitbox. There seems to be a lot of Berserk and Jojo fans in this community. The design choices on this stick are really nice. They went with a red LED around the buttons, which goes nicely with the red text on the stick. And there's also a really nice red outline here that ties everything in all together. And to top everything off, the artwork that was inserted into these transparent buttons really keeps everything nicely flowing. Continuing on with great looking sticks, this is no exception. This is an incredible BNB stick with some incredible artwork. This is Alex here, a custom version of Alex, a custom version of Gil, big trouble in Metro City. The theme of this stick is amazing. I love what they did here. The buttons look amazing. The coloration of the ball top looks amazing too. Even the dust washer to blend everything all in. The artwork is impeccable. And if you flip the stick over to the bottom, the awesome artwork continues. This sort of mashup between Third Strike and Big Trouble in Little China is amazing. I wish there were more fight sticks like this out there because I love what they did here. Now before we get to fight stick of the month, we have some honorable mentions. First up is this fully 3D printed mini hitbox. When I first saw this, I thought this was the Snackbox Micro, but it is not. This is something completely unique. The dimensions are a little bit different than the Snackbox Micro. This stick here is a little thicker uh, this way from top to bottom as pictured is a little shorter than the Snackbox Micro. And this way here from, I guess, front to back is a little longer than the Snackbox Micro. Overall, this 3D printed hitbox using MX Cherry switches and USB-C for external connectivity is pretty awesome. The second honorable mention is this Tesco Chopstick, a DIY stick made out of cutting boards. There's even a full build tutorial for this and I will leave a link to this blog in the description below. It has actually inspired me to possibly create my own for this channel. I think using cutting boards for the build is a genius idea, and they even made a hitbox variant. Now without getting into the finer details of this build, on the surface the only complaint I have right now is the button placement looks a little messed up, but again this is a cheap and easy DIY build so it's acceptable for what it is it's a thumbs up from me. Now as a bonus shout out, I wanted to call attention to this Sonic Mania Hori Wrap Fight Stick for one main reason. Aside from the fact that this fight stick looks incredible, it's got great artwork, the ball top here matches the Sonic name nicely, and the buttons do a great job at showcasing that artwork. Aside from all of that, that's all fine and dandy. The big reason here is because this stick showcases that fight sticks or arcade sticks can be used outside of fighting and arcade games and I think a lot of people forget that or just don't realize it. So great job here for showing that fight sticks can be used on other game types and I think Sonic Mania is an amazing game to use an arcade stick with. And now for my fight stick of the month for October 2020. It's incredibly fitting that fight stick of the month is a Halloween themed fight stick or fright stick. This stick is awesome in so many ways. There are a lot of clever little touches in the artwork here that really make this stick shine. First and foremost, it is based off of Tales from the Crypt, 
but they have cleverly renamed it Tales from the Stick. We can see the Crypt Keeper holding a joystick, a couple of arcade buttons here. Uh, on the right hand side of the stick, it says featuring salt, tea bags, and lag. This stick is amazing. And taking a look as well at the buttons, the slime kind of neon green buttons here blends in incredibly nicely. Like this stick just pops. It's a really good looking stick. Yes, that is a skull inside of a clear ball top. And even looking at the dust washer here, which also looks custom. Flipping the fight stick over, we see the classic Junk Food Arcade's logo paired with the slime green color on the sides here and the golden yellow top and bottom. The front of the fight stick has some nice LED effects and some custom text in the plexiglass here. I cannot read all of it, but I can see something about Wi-Fi and then the fright stick at the very end. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. Let me know what you think about my fight sticks of the month, especially this one, in the comments below. I'm looking forward to seeing what everyone does next month. Bonus points if you create a Thanksgiving themed fight stick. I don't know if it'll make fight stick of the month, but it'll definitely be in contention. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.